Everyone, we are live at five, and that yeah. was oh my god, <laughs> look how amazing Francis Rafael looks, and like singing a sexy new version right? of On My Own. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. No, look at that, beautiful. You guys have to go watch this video if you haven't seen it. It's amazing, it's beautiful. And she's here. We're gonna talk to her in a minute. Ryan, is this too high for you? Yeah, I am so sure. There I feel like, <laughs> like, like it's too high for you. Um, uh, Ryan. McPhee here. Hey, How everyone. you doing? Doing well. So um, we're live at five. We're going to talk about a little bit of news before we bring Francis in. So uh, what's the biggest news of the day? Uh, biggest news is that Hamilton is officially going on tour. Hamilton. Uh, and it will coming... start in Chicago in September. Okay. Uh, so we still have a ways to go. Right. Um, but if you're having trouble getting tickets in New York, you could go to Chicago wait... next year and probably still wait have trouble see... getting tickets there. Wait but... see <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, and we don't um, but know. But with any luck, it'll come to a city near you as well. No casting news, of course. No casting. Yeah. We don't know if Lynn's going to do any of the tour. No. Who not knows? Yet, yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Mm -hmm. So um, I love that Jennifer Hudson was on. She was. Oh, she yeah. was singing "Push the Button," huh? Mm -hmm. I, woke, I woke up she to that. Push that button. Yeah. She. Uh -huh. Yeah. Have you seen yeah. "Color Purple" yet? I'm going tonight. Oh, you are. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I, I'm super excited to see it, and it's going to get like rave reviews. Mm -hmm. Right, it opens Thursday. Yeah, it's already on top ten lists. Like, it hasn't yeah. even opened yet, and people are going crazy. For yeah, it, so. yeah, no, it's gonna it's gonna be a huge hit. Mm -hmm. um, Matt Morrison's leaving yes. Finding Neverland. Um, so if you haven't seen Matt Morrison in Finding Neverland yet, you have until January twenty fourth mm -hmm. uh, to see him. Uh, and we don't have a re replacement yet for him. Uh, so usually when people announce right. that they're leaving, it's because someone else is announcing that they're coming in. Um, but we also reported on rumors a little while ago that Harvey Weinstein wants Chris Pine. Oh my God, that's right. To do it. He so awesome there's still no words. official announcement about that, but that is a name that has been wow. thrown around. They're mentioning Jeremy Jordan. Yeah, Jeremy Jordan played it out of mm -hmm. town. He played it in um, Boston. Yes. I don't know if he would go back into it now. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Um, and he's been like pretty candid about it as well. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Like he he would go back. Yeah. And, uh, um, revisit that. Ke and so Kelsey Grammer comes back. So don't yes, overlap. Yes. He's, uh, he's coming I'm back on January nineteenth. I feel like you look like a little <laughs> child. <laughs> but not your face. Yeah, like a little off. child. That's better. Okay. That's yeah, good. That works. Okay. That's less weird. That's less weird. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So Kelsey Grammer comes back on January January nineteenth. Uh -huh. So they'll overlap for a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And oh, so everyone was really ups Everyone was kind of freaking out today because news came out that there's going to be a new Dirty Dancing movie. Yes. Um. So and tell me about this. Okay. Uh. So ABC is doing a TV remake of Dirty Dancing, which not seems... like live or anything. It's you know filmed. It's not going to be like a live telecast. Do you guys think this is a good idea? I mean, I mean the movie Dirty Dancing. I've only seen it once, and the reason I saw it is because uh, my middle school was doing Footloose, the musical. Okay. And so my mom decided, like, oh, like we should watch the movie, and she went. And while she was there, I guess she, what, and she was like renting it. Yeah. She confused Dirty Dancing with Footloose. That's hilarious. So we watched Dirty Dancing instead. There is so that's a stage. I, I saw Dirty Dancing on stage in in London. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it's on, I know it's been on tour in America, but it's never come to Broadway. But there is a stage version of it, okay. which is not really like a musical. It's like they do the scenes and then they sing the song. Okay. It's like a play with music. Got it. But uh, they dance, they dance. So yeah, stop. People are angry. <laughs> People don't like um, remakes. Well, I mean, they could have a reason to tune in. So there's Abigail Breslin. Right. Um, who's playing Baby, and they don't have a Johnny yet. She's on Scream Queens. Yes. I like her on Scream mm -hmm. Queens. Uh, I need to catch up. I've seen the first few episodes. Um, but there hasn't been an official green light for this yet. They're waiting on final casting to oh. officially determine things. Well, you need a good but Johnny. Like, you need a good Johnny. Johnny Castle, yeah. is that his name? Johnny Castle. Yeah. You need a good Johnny. You gotta have a good Johnny. Mm -hmm. And uh, Andy Blankenbuehler, uh, who's choreographed, among other things, in The Heights, yeah. 9 to 5, Bring It On, and a show called Hamilton. Yeah, that is, show. Yeah. Uh, he's choreographing for this. Wow. So that's, yeah, that's exciting. That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't know. We'll see. People seem angry. People seem yeah. angry about that. No. And then speaking of TV, Ben Pasek and Paul, yeah. Ben Pasek and Justin Paul, who wrote uh, Dogfight and Christmas Story, they Dear they're Evan doing Hansen, a new TV show coming to off Broadway. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They uh, they have a new TV show that they're working on with Claudia Shear. Yes. Who, who wrote the book to Tuck Everlasting? Yes, with uh, Tim Federley, another. Oh, is he involved yeah. with it? With Tuck Everlasting. Oh, oh, oh yeah. right, right, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and they wrote songs in Smash and everything. So they're doing what? A new TV show about Yeah, it's new set York. in 1890s New York. So it's like a period musical oh. series. Um, and oh, 1890s. Yeah. Not 1980s. 1890s. Yeah. Okay. It's called Voice of the City. 
Uh huh. Okay. Um, so what, then, yeah, is it, it really happening? It's happening. Yeah. That one's really happening. Mm -hmm. And what else do you have? You wrote something else on this paper. I don't okay, know that so means. that story you could read about that in Imogen's Odds and Ends today. Uh -huh. Another story in there that I'm obsessed with is so Sister Christina Scucha is her name. Okay, she is the winner of I think the 2014 season of Italy's version of The Voice. Okay. Uh, is so she's a nun and she's going to be in Sister Act. Shut up. In Italy. What? Yeah, the she's going to play Sister Mary Robert, the uh, who Marlon Mandela. Yeah, the mild played. one. Yeah. yeah. She's supposed to be um, the like yeah the nerdy quiet one. Mm -hmm. Wow! Uh, but she has a great voice. Uh, she you know has been researching this character her whole life. That's crazy. Dude. Um, Have you watched her clips? Oh uh, yes, you can watch said, her. Somebody said the Italian voice winner who's a nun. F yeah, <laughs> they're really excited about that. They're more excited about that than uh, the Dirty Dancing remake. Mm -hmm. uh, you can watch a uh, video of her singing on. Uh, what she sing? Does she sing pop music? Yes. Oh my god! I won't tell you the song, but it's pretty great. Wow. And very appropriate for it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, this is what I'm excited about. Do you know this book? Have you ever seen this book? I have seen this book. Well, I just, I pulled this book off my shelf because, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. that. Look, is. At, look at that. Look at, look at Frenster Felt back in the day. And now she looks maybe like two years older than that. That was like more than two years ago. But, uh, I'm going to bring her over now. Okay. So, uh, uh, let's get, get some applause going. Let's take applause. <laughs> Welcome. And look, everyone, it's, it's uh, Francis Raphael, who I'm sure you sure know, to... and I, I know you know that voice because, oh my God, how many nights did you uh, sing me to sleep singing um, those, those songs, those late songs? And you were now you have three news. years old or something. <laughs> no, I was, I was older than three. Uh, people are excited. People are excited. Oh, look how her. beautiful she looks. She, you have like glitter on. You look yeah, gorgeous. I, I dressed up you in my gorgeous. Broadway. Uh... What do you call them? Uh, I don't sequins. sequins. Sequins, that's it. Yeah. You don't live in New York, so it's so exciting right. when you're here. Yeah, I love like, it here. Yeah. I saw you 54 Below a couple years ago. That show was incredible. Thank you. You have this. I, you have this new album. Yeah. Look at. Okay, wait. Talk about sexy. Look at. <laughs> look at that. What? Look at that. Mm. Come on. That's so sexy. <laughs> Uh, they love oh, you. Look at Everyone that. loves you. This uh, this is is, there's like a French theme. So this is called Say Yeah. I Say Yeah, Yeah. That's a yes. song. Yes, right. it is. And what, so what inspired like the French theme? Uh, well, everyone thinks I'm French. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> and you're not. <laughs> I'm not. You fake um, it well. I do. I, I, I sort of have a fantasy of being French. I've, I, I had that fantasy since I was a little girl. And um, I, I learned to sing in French when I was very young. And I sang an Edith Piaf song for my Les Miserables audition. Mm -hmm. And yes. I played Edith Piaf. And I played many French roles, actually. So um, I just thought I'd use some of my hard work, because it's pretty hard learning um, to sing in French. Um, I, I, I thought I'd put some on the album. So it's not all French, don't be scared. No, it's a beautiful it's album. And, and then you do that French. special version of On My Own. That I you, do. you released that video yeah. on the anniversary, right? Did you release it on the anniversary? I you did, the, yeah. The London, the yeah. London anniversary? Yeah. Um, Good timing, huh? That video is cool because you filmed it. It's like one long shot. People, people want to know. I'm asking things. questions. Uh, <laughs> I want to. Well, somebody asked about your beauty secret. I'm gonna talk about the video in a second. What's your beauty secret? Um, a glass of red wine a night and then about a hundred cigarettes. No, that's a that's the most that's fun beauty secret. That there um, is. No, um, no. Basically, don't go in the sun. Okay. Yeah. So that, there's a fun video, and it, you can you guys can watch it on YouTube, and it's like you're like filmed it. You where'd you film it? You're like walking down. I, I filmed it in Soho in London in a little alleyway, and it was just with um, one cameraman and his assistant, and then a couple of fun friends. Um, there, there, there is one moment extras. at the end where you pass somebody. Yeah, I, I, I passed my you know? friend Paul, or actually in that case, and um, he dressed up as Paulina, his alter ego, and he was in. He was the star of my video. Oh, awesome! Yeah. Um, so, and you're also going to be at the Kennedy Center, right? I am, you're, you're, yeah. In March, March, March 25th. 25th. That's a fancy, that's a fancy gig. Oh, it's right? amazing, isn't it? Um, we opened Les Miserables at the Kennedy Center. Did, right. you, did you know that? Wow. Yeah. That's so right. I'm going back, going back home. Yeah, everyone forgets, uh, everyone forgets that, everyone just thinks of it as like a Broadway blockbuster and they forget the like development part of it. Yeah, yeah. But, well, I mean, it was already a hit in, in London before. What is it like with all these Les Mis fans? What is it like dealing with all these people who... Do you know, it's so nice. I'm really lucky, you know, to think, of the, oh, look, it, come and see me and Cat say hello. Magic. Go um, see the show on March 25th. Um, yeah, so it's so nice because you get all these incredible fans that were, weren't even born when you did it. Mm. Um, so, you know, it, it's, such a, it's such a lovely thing to have in your life. It just doesn't go away, and, I'm, you know, I embrace that. Do you, do you have any other... This is kind of a hard question. People have, have any other favorite eponines? I mean, a lot of people yeah, have played this role. Of, I mean, I haven't seen everybody, obviously, but um, um, Carrie, um, 
why can't I think of her last name? Carrie Fletcher. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's um, fantastic. She's in it at the moment in London. She's oh, awesome. wonderful. And obviously, obviously Samantha Barks. Um, yeah, yeah. I've known um, since she first started it, and we um, we sang a duet, a duet of On My Own, actually, Carrie together. Carrie Hope Fletcher. Carrie Hope Fletcher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she's fantastic. Yes. She's wonderful. Um, yeah, she's brilliant. Um, and she makes it her own. And um, But I, I haven't seen many people, but I'm sure there's, you know, many, many fantastic Ebony's. Somebody said, when did you last play Ebony? Um, 20 years ago. 20 years ago. <laughs> when did you last sing on my own? Like this, this morning like, in the shower? Or <laughs> well, you sang it for your album? Um, yeah, on my album, obviously. Yeah. Um, oh no, actually, I sang it. I actually now sing it in my shows because I, I stopped singing it for ages. I was like, I don't want to see that song or hear it ever again. <laughs> and then um, people were like really kind of angry with me about not um, singing it. And so I that's why I decided to do it in a new way. And I sing it, I believe, I sing it in yeah. a way. Um, kind of like the woman I am now rather than the little girl I was You were then. so fun in concert. When I saw you 54 Below, you were like all over the, the club. You were <laughs> yeah. like standing on a table, then you were up to the bar. I mean, you used that whole space. Like you just, yeah. you are so thrilling to watch in concert. Thank like, you. Like honestly, I can't wait to, till I get to see you. A new Maybe one. I'll go to Kennedy Center. Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be doing it in New York as well, but I oh, haven't cool. got the date set, but in April. And I want to do California. And in fact, I'd like to do anywhere where they want me really. They want you, they want you. Uh, she is on Twitter. She's oh. Francis Raphael on Twitter. How, I am. Yeah, how could you not do that? Somebody said go to Florida. Hey, Florida I'd vacation. love to go to Have Florida. Have you been to Florida? Um, a long time ago. Long um, time so ago. So it would be really nice to do that. I'm definitely going to California. California. Um, I'm doing uh, San Francisco and LA. Somebody just called you a Broadway diva. Do you mind the term diva? Are you okay um, with diva? I, I, I'm okay. Yeah, call me a diva if you like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, coming back to you, know, she is coming back to London. She, you live in London, correct? I do live in London, okay. but that might not be the case always in the future. Okay, Broadway legend, legend, not a diva. Okay, and Tony winner. Tony winner, by the lucky. way, yeah, How's very that Tony lucky. Doing? Do you still have it? I have it. Um, don't <laughs> kill me, but it's um in my. It's just like in the drawer of awards. <laughs> okay, it's in a do you have an award drawer. I do, in my bathroom. You don't like just in your bath in your bathroom. There's a yeah, drawer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Tony is in, okay. Well, you know, I'm really happy that I got it and everything, but I just don't like people to come over to my house and just, I don't like, like to show it off. In fact, if you come into my house, you don't see any Broadway posters, theater posters. Uh -huh. You don't see anything to do with my business, apart from a keyboard, a piano keyboard. Um, I, I kind of like, yeah, I like it, people not to know. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Do you have any tips for like uh, somebody playing up a name? Is there like a one like nugget of information you can give for someone if they were ever going to play that role? Um, well, no, I I can give. This is what I say to anyone playing any role, and it's just absolutely um, believe what you are saying at that moment, and it's like the first time you've ever thought of those words. It has to be the first time you thought mm -hmm. of those words. So you have to get into the into the thought process of that character mm -hmm. at that moment. And that and that's all I say, and that's all I do. And also I believe um, stillness is a very important thing with Eponine. Mm -hmm. And then you would draw the audience to you and mm -hmm. they'll, they'll listen to your story. What's the hardest role you ever did? Is it Eponine or something else? Um, Edith Piaf was the hardest role I played. Um, yeah, that, that's a, I mean, that's a monster of a role. Yeah, it's an incredible, it's an incredible role. Um, she has a real car crash of a life and every emotion. And, and she's funny as well, which is great fun. Mm -hmm. um, but also, um, it's one of those roles where you don't leave the stage for two hours and a half. Yeah, that's epic. So it's tough. That's epic. Yeah. Okay, well, um, any, if anyone has any final questions, please put them, but everyone needs I'm sorry to, if they, I missed some. How do they get this album? It's available for download. It's available for, for download yeah. all around the world, um, but in the UK it's available on Amazon. Um, but I'd like to get it released properly out here in the States, um, which I'm yeah. going to work on. Yeah. Somebody asked, are there any musicals on Broadway that you love to watch? Are there I any? just watched Colour Purple last night. Ah, how That's was it? Unbelievable. Blow you away? Yeah, unbelievable. I'm a friend of Cynthia. Um, and we actually we sing a, on YouTube. There's a duet with me and Cynthia, which is quite fun. Um, singing, um, I know him so well from chess, but she's utterly fantastic. She blew me away last night. Yeah. What people wonder about the famous uh, Eponine hugging herself pose. Oh uh, yeah, that's it's because just... I didn't really know what to do with my arms. It's true. I've got very long arms, and I got it. <laughs> yeah, and so I sort of held the coat towards and me, and then like, it just stayed. Now it's the thing to do. I believe so. It yeah. is the thing. If you're Eponine, that's the thing to do. Okay, everyone needs to get this album. 
It's awesome. I love singing. How was oh, singing Thursday anniversary? It was great. Um, um, gosh, it was so emotional. And me and Patty just had a ball, actually. But it was fantastic. Well, I love it whenever you, you come out and, and honor that, that, you know, the history of that. Because mm, it, mm. it's so great when people are able to sort of embrace their history. Yeah, you know but, what I mean, I mean what, what a gift, though, to, yeah. to be in such a show at the beginning. Any dream roles? The Henry with thirteen wants um, to know. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to um, play Rose in Gypsy. Oh, um, let's do that. I want to <laughs> see that. I want to see that. Um, you know, I'm a mother of kids, and my daughter is um, actually uh, a, a pop star. So you know, I know what it's like. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, you can actually uh, oh. you you could do that for many. Um, Madame Giri. Madame Giri. Giri. What's Madame Giri? Phantom of the Opera. Just, oh I, no 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 no! That's like, not for me. Know, I think you're like that's like that's like, that's like that, you're way too young looking for that. Anymore. Oh yeah, thank you. Everyone's up, everyone's up for that. Everyone's up for that. Gypsy. Gypsy. I want to see Gypsy. Um, yeah, I'd love to do Guys and Dolls as well, Adelaide. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's fun. There's a lot of things I want to see you do. Okay, so this is the album. It's awesome. She will be at the Kennedy Center March 25th. Yeah. Like the Barbara Cook concert series or something. Yes, it uh, is. And uh, and then hopefully some more dates. We're, we're going to hear about soon. You can read about them on Broadway.com when they're announced. Please come. And uh, thank you so and much come for say joining hi us. To me as well, please. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for coming.